Hello, and welcome to the session on DevOps metrics and dashboards. We will see one of the various DevOps metrics that need to be monitored and measured, and one of the various dashboard tools to do the same. Let us begin by understanding what software metrics are. While we develop software products, we need some mechanism, some way of measuring or validating that what we are doing meets our customers' expectations. Not only of the functionality that we are developing as part of that software development, but also of cost, budget, of various resources, the spend, and the return on investments on all that cost, all that money that is being spent. Metrics can be defined as quantitative measures that allow the software engineers to identify the efficiency and improve the quality of software processes, software projects, and the outcome product. This enables software engineers or project managers or your stakeholders to adjust software processes and improve software products if needed. There are various metrics that can be measured for software projects. You have balanced scorecards that are a performance management tool, a semi-standard structured report supported by design methods and automation tools that can be used by managers to keep track of execution of activities by the different team members within their reporting structure, and a monitor the consequences arising from any of these actions. You can have a software bug which can be measured or line of code so, a bug is an error, or a flaw, or a failure, or some kind of fault in the computer program or system that causes it to produce an incorrect or unexpected result, or to behave in unintended ways. Then you have code coverage. So, in computer science, code coverage is a measure used to describe the degree to which the source code of the program is executed when a particular gas width runs. A program with high code coverage, measured as a percentage, has more of its source code executed during testing, which suggests that it has a lower chance of containing undetected software bugs compared to a program with low code coverage. There are many different metrics that can be used to calculate the code coverage. Some of the most basic ones are the percentage of subroutines, programs, and the percentage of program statements that are called during execution of the software code. Then you have something called cyclomatic complexity, which is a software metric that is used to indicate the complexity of a software program. It is a quantitative measure of the number of linearly independent paths through a program's source code. You can have function points and automated function points. So function points is a unit of measure to express the amount of business functionality and information a system or a product provides to a user. Function points are used to compute functional size measurement of software, the cost in dollars or number of hours of a single unit discalculated from previous project data. In engineering, maintainability is the ease with which a project can be maintained in order to correct effects or the causes, repair or replace faulty components, without having to replace the parts that are working fine, prevent unexpected working conditions, maximize the products used for life, maximize efficiency, reliability, and safety, meet any new requirements that you receive from your customer to implement, make future maintenance easier, or able to cope with a more changed environment. Then you can have something called number of classes and interfaces. So number of classes and interfaces are measured to check for code complexity or even your function point complexity. Source line of code, SLOC, also known as line of code, is a software metrics that is used to measure the size of a computer program, accounting the number of lines in the text of the program's source code. Source line of code is typically used to predict the amount of effort that would be required to develop a program, as well as to estimate programming productivity or maintainability once a software is produced. In computing, a loader is part of an operating system that is essentially responsible for loading programs and libraries in the memory of your computer. 
It is one of the essential stages in the process of starting a program, as it places programs into memory and prepares them for execution. Loading a program involves reading the content of the executable file containing the program instructions into memory and then carrying out the required preparatory steps to prepare the executable front running. Once loading is complete, the operating system starts the program by passing control to the loaded program code. In computer science, the runtime or execution time is the time during which the program is running or executing, in contrast to other programs like cycle phases such as compilation time, length time, load time. A runtime error is detected after or during the execution state of a program whereas a compile time error is detected by the compile time before the program is ever executed. Type checking, register allocation, code generation, code optimization are typically done at compile time, but may be done at runtime either, depending on the particular language and compiler. Weighted microfunction points is a modern software sizing algorithm invented by Logical Solutions in the year 2009, which is a successor to the solid ancestor scientific method, such as COCOMO, COSISMO, maintainability index, cyclomatic complexity function points, and ousted complexity. It produces more accurate results than traditional software sizing methodologies, while requiring less configuration and knowledge from the end user as most of the estimation is based on automatic measurement of an existing source code. Dashboards often provide at-a-glance view of various key performance indicators, also called KPIs, relevant for a particular objective or business process like sales, marketing, human resources, or production. In real-world terms, dashboard is another name for a progress report or a report. The underlying virtues of implementing DevOps are continued improvement and development. The development and IT operation teams are expected to collaborate and be active participants in this collaboration and innovative process. The objective overall is to ensure smooth functioning of the application with the least interruptions, build instinct dashboards for distinct software. Ultimately, a dashboard is a common platform or a framework that enables you to manage issues, so more than the technicalities, it is important to nurture a culture that encourages the adoption of DevOps approach. The idea here is to enable self-learning and self-improvement among software developers, operations engineers, on a regular basis. Change is difficult. And while on a transformation journey, it is important to realize the objectives of the project or task at hand. The objective helps structure the metrics for tracking the overall development process for the respective teams. DevOps dashboards enable system admins and developers to remain updated with software applications, key performance metrics like uptime, load time, API calls, CPU processes, memory usage, and various other components that ensure that your production environment is stable and your customer and user experience is stable. Software development life cycle is a journey of various ups and downs. Things get broken and fixed throughout the cycle. DevOps dashboards monitors the process and helps you to spot bugs before you get flooded with user issues, user feedback, and tickets. As mentioned earlier, building metrics on the DevOps dashboard totally depends on the project objectives. Creating a DevOps dashboard totally depends on, and is highly influenced by, your own requirements and challenges. It is a reflection of your project's need at the overall approach of the team. So, it is recommended to create, edit, repeat, and build Focus dashboard metrics that enhance the visibility of the project, process, and issues. Additionally, it incorporates response time, usage of resources, issues and errors, 
any user feedback, any other aspect that you feel is important for a speedy delivery. For example, tracking CPU usage for individual internal APIs helps the operations team to evaluate the issues with performance and accordingly to take necessary actions during the course of the project. You need dashboard for tracking the application, for assessing the team's progress, for tracking the core performance APIs and making them visible for all. The objective is to get the process going collaboratively and deliver it at the same speed with the necessary quality. Quality and speed are at the core of DevOps approach, a key reason why leading enterprises across the globe leverage the synergy between development and operations teams with an indicated DevOps model. DevOps culture is majorly driven, not just by the synergy, but also by the underlying need for continuous collaboration and delivery. There are various DevOps metrics on which you can create dashboards, frequency of deployments, which is basically a metrics that will keep a tab on the, pre on the frequency of deploying the new code. It will help track the deployment process by team members, which is a very critical activity for any project. Moreover, it is all pervasive and is applicable across projects. You can measure tracking change, and it is absolutely critical to track the user stories associated with the project, and most importantly, setting the parameters to track the complexity of the changes occurring in the project. You can track the lead time, which is software application development, follows a process of development to deployment when new code is developed and successfully deployed into production. Cycle time is a key indicator to determine efficiency in the process where it helps a team to understand the areas of improvements. Ultimately, the metrics helps the team to get a better hold of the project's development. Track percentage of deployments fail, so you need to track the percentage of deployments that had led to outage or any negative feedback from your customer from your user. By the nature of DevOps approach, it is expected to build quality right from the beginning rather than post-development as an afterthought. Experts suggest to review this metrics as a team to effectively keep track of negative sentiment in the project. Mean time to recovery is another useful metrics. Recovery and resilience is critical in any project as it will help build market readiness of your software application. Mean time to recovery is an ideal process of tracking complex issues and failures, assessing the ability of the team to handle fundamental change and be able to bounce back. Various performance metrics can be incorporated. This metrics has to remain stable, irrespective of any changes in user feedback or your deployment indicators. It is a key indicator that the software application is operational within the defined limits. There are various DevOps dashboards tools available, like Elk Stack, Graphite, Keen.io, Librato, Datadog, and Hygieia. The Elk Stack is essentially a combination of three open source products from Elastic. Elastic Surge and Analytics capability, LogStacks as the logs aggregator, and Kibana for the fancy dashboard visualization. Today, Elastic Surge is pretty much built in with LogStash and Kibana as an Elastic's product as well, making integration and setup very simple. But a new deployment rules out. The dashboard follows custom indicators that you can set up using your app's help. These indicators update in real time, allowing close monitoring and freshly delivered code, taking its first steps after being uploaded to production. It is free, but there are elastic paid plans that include different levels of professional support for the tool. Graphite is an open source tool written in Python for storing data and providing graphs and visualizations of it on demand. It does not collect any data itself, but instead works with other tools for the purpose. 
Grafana is an open source tool that provides a metrics dashboard and graph editor for Graphite. It essentially enhances what you can get from Graphite and provides more features. Graphite and Grafana are designed to be language agnostic. Also worth noting is the hosted Graphite, which essentially offers Graphite and Grafana as paid software as a service model. Keen.io is a software as service analytics infrastructure platform. It collects the data you specify from a wide range of possibilities and its APIs performed analytics and visualization tasks at your request. It's designed around providing flexibility and choice to users from whom other visualization in metrics aren't satisfied. If you can't get the exact data you want from other tools, but can't or don't want to build your own custom analytics infrastructure, if analytics is a primary focus or concern for you, and you want more than what an out-of-the-box solution provides, then DevOps Keen I.O. is a good tool for you. Liberato is a hosted service for monitoring and managing cloud applications. Liberato can create custom dashboards in seconds without the need to set up or deploy any software. It focuses on graphics and visuals to create a very smooth look and feel compared to other dashboards. It recently became part of SolarWinds. If you want to be able to work with highly customized metrics and reports, if you want beautiful visualizations and better learning for the data that you send in, Liberato is the tool that will answer all of this for you. Datadog is again a software service monitoring tool targeted for DevOps teams that take data from your app and wide range of other tools and provides metrics and visualizations. It unifies data produced from your infrastructure and software into one location. They are currently built around aggregating and presenting data rather than performing analytics. If you want a DevOps-focused tool that works with an extensive ecosystem of other tools, if you want a tool that presents you with a unified view of data generated across your hardware and software, Datadog is a good choice. Hygieia gives developers a visual way to track progress across the development pipeline. The dashboard automatically refreshes every minute after tracking a project's progress across six different areas, features code repository, built quality monitoring, and also deployment. For example, the code repo window displays information regarding coding activities, number of commits per day, number of committers, and other current coding trends. Hygieia dashboard only supports the following tools to plug in. Those plugins can be written to integrate with other tools and solutions. Features like Jira, version one, code repositories like GitHub, Subversion, build tools like Jenkins, Hudson, for quality, Sonar Cube, Cucumber, Selenium, and for deployment, IBM Urban Code Deploy. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.